Yes, 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 y'all. It's like, nah, I'm not going to do that. What's going on, everybody? We are back again with another episode of the Mixing Pop Podcast, episode 90. We are here. One. That's what I said. You didn't even let me get out to the one, bro. Like, yo, this is the same thing he was doing last week with Slitty, bro. Like, he would not let me rap, bro. Like, he would not let me get my bars out. I said get your bars out. And then on top of that... And then they were t- saying that I was saying Diddy stuff. Like you did, I I listen, literally just listened to it. What was I saying? You said some craziness. I ain't gonna repeat. Hey, bro! Shout out! Shout out to all the all the listeners today. What's to say? Anyway, so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! This is our Halloween edition of the show. We should have had like a little whoa or something, right? Exactly, like a little haunting hour. But anyway, we're here. We're back. What's going on, Tariq? How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. You know, it's almost that time. Vacation. So I know. It's ticking down for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's coming sooner than later. Literally. Lit to roll. Money, 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 money. Literally, next, by next Wednesday, I will be in DR. So It's not bad. Yeah, well. It's not bad. You gonna be toes toes in the sand, chilling? I'm gonna be drunk as hell. I know, <laughs> drunk as hell. Damn the damn the <clears throat> sand. I'm gonna be drunk. You definitely coming back with a Nigerian tan too. You know how you get dark. Looking like Michael Blackson. No cap though, for real, for real. But I um, get jiggy with this. I'm dead. But yeah, before we get into it, uh, you know we gotta do our drink of the day, and then we gotta go over our, our weekends and whatnot. So, uh, last week we. Nah, it was it wasn't last week, it was the week before Jeez, last. So, yeah. yeah. The week before last, my girlfriend blessed us with uh, a couple of alcoholic beverage choices. So we're just fin- finishing up that series with the last one. Um our pineapple modella. Our pina celata. Pina picante. Modelo. Modelo. That I asked, like uh Rohan salesman so um we're gonna get a taste of this. Last week it was I. I mean, the week before last when we had the mango one, it was okay. But yeah, you wasn't you wasn't feeling. I it wasn't either. really feeling that one. But let's see if we're feeling this one. All right, let's let's just see. At least it's the color of like Modelo, like that ass. <laughs> and it got some foam on it. Like look. at least it looks fine. We'll, we'll see what happens. That ass. Hey, go. Yeah. Cheers. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Let's try this. Okay, so this one I can get with more. Yeah, I like this one better. Like, That's real good. I feel like you actually taste a little bit of the actual beer in it. Yeah, you can taste Modelo. And you can that. taste more spice than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that one. That one's a lot. That better. one's really good because the last better. one literally just tastes like a bunch of blood in my mouth. <laughs> this one tastes amazing. I like that. Shit, that's crazy. All right, okay. So now that we had the drink of the day, let's go ahead and get into weekends. How how was your weekend, Tariq? My weekend. <laughs> hey, actually, my weekend was pretty damn good. No, I'm yeah. saying because the Patriots beat the Jets and got a win. Fuck the Jets. Fuck those Jets. <laughs> you know what the Patriots record is? No. Two and six. But you know what the Jets is? Two and six. So um, it's not that bad to me. They're still Super Bowl contenders, bro. Technically. Uh, and they're not going to get there, but technically. What's the Cardinals record right now? The Cardinals are actually four and four in first place in the NFC West. That's crazy. They are. They're doing, they're, they're doing good. They're, they won this week on a game winning field goal. So, so you know, I'm doing good with the Cardinals guess, but the, the, the Cardinals Jets, are the Cardinals are keeping you alive. Kyler the, Murray said, "I got you, my boy." The Jets, though, a <laughs> hey, Aaron if said, they, "You on your own." Nah, um, that I did see highlights of the um, Vikings versus Commanders. Oh, Bears Commanders. Bears Commanders. That's who it was. I could have swore it was the Vikings. Vikings Jesus played Christ. the Rams. Oh, that's who it was. Yeah, I seen Bears Commanders and the Commanders with that Hail Mary. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Everybody's reaction online to it too. That Yo, shit is so I was, crazy. I was at Tiana's house and I'm watching it, and it happened. I said, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" And she's like, "They're like, 
what? <laughs> I was showing Tiana. She's just like, oh, he caught it. I'm like, yeah. You know what? You know what? And I even, I even. Nah. Oh, he caught it. That's <laughs> no, nah, that's a, that's this, a Kiana Tiana answer, bro. No, nah, that's the one that killed me too because I put it in our group chat with my dad and I was in Geraldo and normally someone would have reacted too. I said, no way, no way. Got no answer, no response back. Damn. Then yesterday I go, yeah. I was like, yo, you didn't even, you guys didn't even respond to me. My dad was, wait, what'd you say? I was like, yo, I was talking about the hail mary that happened. He goes. Oh, I didn't. We didn't see it because we like turned it off and thought, you know, all right, the game's over. They won. Oh wow, they <laughs> because, cut the game too early. Because you you watch you ever, if you ever like watch Red Zone, if it's like if there's like two games left, mm-hmm. once that like that that game one of them games finish, they kind of would just show you like you know their little highlights. And that last game, you just got to go to the regular channel to find it. Mm-hmm. So that's what they were on. So it was like all right, like. That game's over. Ain't really worried about it. You know, they're just watching the highlights. And my dad was like, his sister called him. was like, oh my God, did you see that? And he was like, see what? And then they seen it after. It was like, wow. What the hell? <laughs> that, nah, that shit was crazy though. Yeah. It was. I'm like, God damn. What the fuck, bro? Oh, did you see the the freaking cor- one of the corners on uh, Chicago? He literally was taunting the fans before the play started. And even when the play started... It took him four seconds to realize, oh, the play's going on. And then he was Nah, the, pull that one up. I haven't he seen was that the, one. It was, yo, it was on Twitter, everything. Hold on, let me. Nix is what's killing this man. Hold on. I, see, not, bro, that was ridiculous. Uh, Bears. Hail Mary. This man literally, like... Okay, I got it right here. <laughs> Look, so this man's literally taunting the fans. <clears throat> yeah, it's over. Four seconds later, he's like, oh, snap. The, oh, it's not the ball. Okay. Look, hold on. <laughs> and then look at him. He taps the ball. <laughs> Bro, like, run that, run, run that back one more time. Like, hey, nigga, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> taunts the fans, then comes back into the play. Look at him, just standing there. <laughs> he was supposed to mark him. Like, <laughs> what an idiot. I know he got an earful. Bro, he definitely got an earful. Yo, like, how do you taunt the fans? Four seconds later, you said, oh, snap the play. And they were talking about it. They're like, yo, as on defense, when you go over it, they're like, yo, you're supposed to find somebody and box them out. Like, mm-hmm. so it doesn't, so that doesn't happen. This nigga literally didn't go find them. <laughs> it's just like, come on, bro. bro. That's crazy. That's like that shit that be happening in fucking college football with me, bro. I can't, I don't know what it is with that game, <laughs> bro, but I be training. I be training like I trained, used to have to train on FIFA, bro. bro but it's just... Speaking of, going back into my weekend. So, one, you know, World Series started. So, we're watching the World Series this week. College football, we're watching that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, me and Isaiah had a bet going into the cruise. Oh, no. Nah. So, we said, yo, best two out of three in NCAA uh, uh, 25. We said, loser got to buy the other one, pure white Henny shots on the cruise. Mm-hmm. And I said, damn, we was like three, two shots each, two shots. Oh, two shots each. We was like, and then we was like one, because then Tiana was on. She's like, oh wait, I want to get in that. So is she playing? No. So I played. <laughs> so so I go. We was like, all right. So one shot each. So I said, so all right. So if, if I lose, me and Tiana gotta buy you one shot of pure white. If you lose, you gotta buy us each a shot. We go. We shook on it. She was like over the phone. All right, great. <laughs> We played it. We played on Saturday, and now we played for weeks since this bet was made. Like weeks on weeks, every time after we record, we play. Mm-hmm. So I'm ready. <laughs> I, uh, but Nas doesn't know that you've been. He knows that I be telling him all the time that we play and like everything that happened. Oh, okay. But I'm like, I was locked in. Like, and then his boys are here. I said, no, this nigga gonna pull like Andrew and. No, try to yeah, he's the, he's the crowd. Front of, he's, yeah, front of niggas, crowd pleaser, bro. First, you know how I do. I always go triple random. You know, just, I mean, we we do it all the time. First game, I get Georgia. 
killed this nigga. Mm-hmm. First quarter pick, pick. He said, "All right, you got that one, whatever." Second game, I get Boston College. I ain't I ain't played with Boston College now. <laughs> oh, because you did ram, randoms, right? Second game, I said, "All right, that's one, bro." I'm I'm over here struggling. struggling with I'm that. like, come on. I gotta find a way to get back the in this DC game. Eagles is getting their ass whooped, <laughs> bro. I'm like, I'm d- yo, I'm down like sixteen to him. I'm like, all right, I gotta find a way to get in. End of the second quarter, I score. I said, all right, mm-hmm. pick them off. All right, word. He gets the ball to start the second half. Pick them off again. Scored on him. Pick them off again. Scored at pick six. He said, yeah, you know what, GG, screw you. you. <laughs> this thing was pissed. I said, let's go. I mean, what? I said, so you won the shot. Hell yeah. I I'm said, dead. I said, look, all double that practice nothing. we've been doing, you know what I'm saying? I was hyped. You should have did double or nothing. That's when you got to do the double or nothing. Hell, hell, no. I was not going to do that because that's when I would have lost. I whooped Josh the, the, yesterday, actually, in FIFA. We did uh, one best of three and then one best of five, bro. He got me. He, nah, he. Not good actually. <laughs> I won all almost all those games. I think he won two games out of all those games that we played. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Uh, Josh don't ever learn. But yeah, that was that was my weekend. And then I literally just been getting ready for this cruise, freaking packing like crazy. Did laundry Sunday. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not it's done always, packing yet, but yo, laundry is always the worst too. It's like so. I gotta. I, I got to make sure I'm, like, good enough for two weeks, basically. Literally. <laughs> I'm like, I've never done that, so. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just getting ready for the cruise. We leave Saturday, mm-hmm. so. Oh, yeah, my dad's birthday on Thursday on Halloween. Happy birthday, Faja. Happy birthday, Steve. <laughs> Freaking, we got dinner. We got dinner to go to. Then I got to make din- I gotta make dinner on Thursday. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, I don't have the money for this. Too so. much shit. <laughs> And I'm like, damn, freaking Ubers down there cost mad bread. But then they get there, and, and they're like, yeah, we gotta get breakfast for the for the one day we're down there. And I'm like, that's more money than us. <laughs> and then of course Tiana's like, oh, we gotta find a fun place. I said, bro, you gotta stop with this car. How many times does she get it with the tripe or without the tripe? Well, uh, she usually get it without tripe. I like that tripe. That tripe I, is fire. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I'll get it with sometimes with tripe too. Tripe is but, good, bro. I just be like, bro. Everywhere we go, we gotta try a fuss spot. Nah, because yeah. you'll fuck around and get the wrong fuss spot, and you'll <laughs> never touch fu again. So <laughs> pump <laughs> pump the brakes. Pump bro, the brakes. Uh, she already found like two spots. I'm like, bro. Do we really have to go to here? Like. That's not what I want. I mean, vacation. like, pho is cool. Ramen's cool. But it's like, you got to be, it has to be the right place, right time for me to have to eat that. You know she, what I mean? I can't just eat it. She eats it. She, we just had it last night. She eats it every week. Like Once a week? At least once a week. I mean, that's not bad. As long as it's once a week, it's not bad. No, but there's weeks. That's like, like us. We eat pizza or Wendy's no, 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 once no, no, a no. week. But there's like, there's weeks where she's like, if she'll have pho Monday. Then it'd be like Wednesday. She'd be like, she'll have it. And then we'll be together or whatever. And I'd be like, we'll be like, yeah, we want to have it. She'd be like, uh, I kind of want some fun. I'm like, bro, no, no, you just had it. <laughs> She's addicted, bro. She's addicted. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know about that. That's how uh, mine was on Chipotle for a while, bro. Like, I'd be like, yo, what do you want to eat? Like, because that was before I was going on my string of just cooking. Because now I. I just strictly have to cook now because that's the most affordable thing that will help anybody in this economy right now. But anyway, uh, she wanted Chipotle. I was like, all right, cool. That was like a Monday, bro. Literally Wednesday comes because Tuesday I cooked. So Wednesday, what do you want to eat? Uh, I don't know, Chipotle. <laughs> what? Didn't we have that like a day before yesterday? Uh, Yeah, but like uh, that's what I got a taste for. Okay. Damn, if Friday didn't come and this motherfucker asked for some goddamn Chipotle. <laughs> you have a problem now. We're not eating that shit more than once a week now. <laughs> right. At this point. And it's not even that good. And we grew up on the horror stories okay. of that nigga because he came from where we were going to school at. Like, yeah. that shit, nah. I'm good off that. E. coli <laughs> outbreaks and all that good shit. Nah. Bro, literally last Thursday. I was there on Thursday, last Thursday. I'm, well, like, going back and forth. I'm like, what do you want to eat? I'm like, I don't care what we eat. I never really care. I'm like, whatever you want to have, I'm fine with it. I can cook. You want to cook? We can get something. I really didn't want to get anything, but whatever. I'm like, you want steak and cheese, burgers, tacos, this, this, this? No, no, no. She's like, kind of want some fun. I said, no. We're not, nope. No. 
no, I'm not <clears> doing that. <laughs> I said, pick something else. <laughs> like, we're not doing that. I'm dead. Like, but yeah, that's, yeah, my girlfriend's addicted to pho, so. I'm dead. Uh, but yeah, how was your weekend? My weekend, my weekend was pretty chill. Um, It was my anniversary this weekend, so. My two year anniversary. Oh, what did you, what, you say? It's your anniversary. <laughs> I've been hearing that whole song like literally nonstop this past week. But um, yeah, we went out uh, to a Halloween party actually mm-hmm. at Troop. And um, actually, you know what? This is a serious moment. Okay. Sexual harassment. Oh boy. Hold on now. We're going to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual S A is not good, guys. S A is not good. You know why? Because it affects not only you, but also it affects me. <laughs> I was in the club. He was in a club. I was in the club, and you know, in the club, we all fam. <laughs> but um, chilling there with my girl, you know, her friend. We all chilling there. I was dressed as Shaggy too. I had the wig on, everything, bro. Did she really come at Scooby? <clears throat> yeah, she really did go at Scooby. And uh, we were chilling. All of a sudden, a train of girls is coming by. You know how it is in the club. Everybody trying to move past everything, blah, blah, blah. bro. Why my whole right ass cheek get cupped, bro? Like that shit was crazy. <laughs> why was I getting double cupped up on a Saturday night? Like that shit was wild, bro. And granted, guys usually don't get their asses touched unless, like, they're at a football place or, like, (laughs) good game type setting type shit. But for me to get, like, grabbed, like, that was crazy, bro. Like, I was like, damn, like, I I really got groped. So me being appalled, I had a face on my girls, like, what's wrong with you? I was like, yo, someone just grabbed my ass. Like, that shit is mad weird, like. So then she grabs me, we switch spots and stuff like that. And then there's this one chick, she came out of nowhere and she just kept coming up to me and she's like, Oh my god, you look like Justin Bieber. You look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh my god, it's Justin. Look, it's Justin Bieber. I'm like, nah, I'm I'm shaggy. I'm I'm shaggy. Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm like, oh nah. Yo, she was she was lit. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But um later, like I just put two and two together. Like, she just kept coming up to me in the middle of the the club and everything like that at different occurrences. And I don't want to play the blame game or anything, but, like, you... It's like the thing about serial killers, bro. They're going to do crime, and then they're going to come to the crime of the scene and be like, oh, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what she was doing. I grabbed (laughs) Justin's ass. Now I'm going to see Justin squirm a little bit. Like, (laughs) Like, nah. So I guess my girl picked up on it and we were leaving the club and everything like that. And the girl actually, I had peeped her. She was in the parking lot and she was smoking with a bunch of people and we were walking a totally different direction, but she just literally just saw me out of the crowd of people that was walking out of the club and just starts screaming, Justin, Justin. And my girl goes, he's not fucking Justin. (laughs) I said, I said, let's go, babe. (laughs) That's <laughs> my girl That's my baby <laughs> I'm fucking shaggy Like just flip <laughs> Did my hair flip But nah um, That happened to me That that was the biggest thing this weekend um, That shit was funny though It is funny But SA for real though is not cool um, Regardless if I was Justin Bieber You know No diddy um, Anyway Oh Oof, no diddy for real. Uh, what what else were we getting into? Oh, what else did I do this weekend? Uh, oh, I've been studying for my test. That's what I'm doing because I remember last time the week before. Yeah, I said we failed. So now we're going to pass because you know it's our our viewers. They're they're with us. They're living our lives with us. So like. If they're going to take the test. Well, I'm, I'm going to be on the outside, so I hope you don't fail. I'm screaming. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm not in school. Dead ass, but I, I got to. I, I ain't signed up for no test. I'm screaming, but <laughs> this man. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing the test, and we're going to pass that shit, and then I'm going to get my appraiser's license, and then that's going to be that. There we go. Exactly. Did you watch uh, Woman of the Hour? Yes, I did. That movie was kind of crazy. I didn't know it was a real it movie. It was uh, well, like one, a real, actually so, happened. 
Yeah, so it's actually yeah. a true story. So I started watching it like last week mm-hmm. or like two weeks ago or whatever, and I fell asleep on it, so I didn't finish it. And then I seen a clip. And it was like the back to back of when they were doing like the game show, mm-hmm. and it was like, oh snap! I'm like, oh snap! That's actually real. Mm-hmm. So then mm-hmm. I watched it. I actually did watch it the whole thing on Saturday, and I was like, oh damn! And then literally, then it was like the girl at the end that ran away. Like she was like one of the people that actually got away and stuff like that. And that's how he got caught. I was like, what yeah, hell, like though that was good. Um, the one part in that shit, because I was telling Kiana that, and we were just dying laughing. Well, I'm sick in the head, so like when there's like scary moments or people getting murked, I'm laughing. Like that shit. I don't know why I do it. Uh, I'm not really sick, but I'm sick. Anyway, in that movie where he's questioning her in the parking lot. And he goes, so, like, you want to go get something to eat? And then she's like, nah. And then he's like, all right, well, like, no. He goes, can you, well, like, let me get your number. And then he goes, yeah, can you, like, recite your number back to me? Yeah. And then he <laughs> goes, oh, so I guess we're not going to Carver City anymore. And then he, she looks at him, and she goes, I'm not going anywhere with you. Bro, as soon as she said that, I looked at Keanu. I was like, she did. She dead. What did she say that for? She dead. Like, <laughs> literally. And then he just started that that whole scene. Yeah. Fuck. 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 Like, girl, how many fucking keys you got? Like, <laughs> you got one fucking key. There, you're going into one fucking place. You got one car. It's the 70s. Where? Ha- where? where ha- why do you need those many keys? Where are you going? <laughs> Bro, when she, she starts walking mad fast, and then they pan out, and you see this nigga on the side. Just, yo, but he was he was walking, walking like like he was power walking for mm-hmm. real. I was I, I was looking at her. um like behind the scenes things this weekend too. Um, and I seen this one about tr- the Terminator too. Mm-hmm. And that scene where um, the Terminator, he's, like, running where John is, like, on the motorcycle and he's, like, running after him, bro. So they're, like, going behind the scenes in depth and shit about it. And they were, like, yo, like, he took actual training for running, like, from a professional sprinter and trained himself to only, like, breathe through his nose. So in that instance, like, he was, it's crazy, too, because all of that, it's not, like, special effects or anything. He's, like, literally running that fast. And they were, like, um, I think, I think whoever is the director, isn't it, like, Steven Spielberg or some shit? Of I don't know. Terminator? I've never seen Terminator, so. <laughs> Are you dead ass? I'm dead serious. <laughs> what, bro? That's crazy, bro. I've seen Terminator. That's wild. I started watching, watching The Trap. The movie, I've seen that shit like three times now. Yeah, that shit is good. It's good. I'm not gonna say it's a bad movie. That's a pretty good movie. Uh, I, I think know, it was a little. It. You finished it? You finished no, I didn't, it? I I only started it. I was falling asleep on a penguin, and then I finally got through the penguin. But I probably got to rewatch that. And I put that on. And I fell asleep with the first like ten minutes, and I woke up, and these niggas were already inside. Like, so I was like, I'm gonna watch this later. So, where do you remember yourself on the penguin? All right. So the new episode of the penguin. Um, this they're already they're in the tunnel. They already got the jugs. They spread it out, spread it throughout the city, basically. Uh, and they're they're trying to find the penguin. And uh, Victor he shoots homeboy in the freaking what was it the throat of the face? He shot him somewhere. Mm-hmm. But I I see that part. But it's just like everything after where, where she's talking to penguin's girl, and like when penguin's talking to Victor, it's like. All of that, I'm just like I kept waking up and falling back to sleep. Well, you were fading in and out. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm probably, like, I, yeah, see, I know what re-watch. happened, but I'm just like, I should probably just watch that like last thirty minutes. So or what I don't understand because they recently just announced that Sophia Falcone is going to have a big part in Batman Two, the newest Batman that's going to come out. Mm-hmm. If we're now watching the Penguin, and this is supposed to be his rise to where he is. How far along or how long is Sophia going to survive to the point where she actually interacts with Batman, bro? Like, because at this point, Batman's non-existent, right? For right now. Like, he's not a thing at all. I mean, he's there. Because I thought this took place before no, it, Batman. No, this is after. Because remember in episode three. Oh, the guy that destroys the city, right? Victor, his 
his family gets destroyed from all that water, and that's why the projects is the way it is now. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So that it's it's sense. out there. So I mean, it makes no, it makes sense. Like I didn't when, like the Batman. He's not as badass as the I mean, it's Batmans. it's more of a detective Batman. That's really what it is. So. Fuck all that detective shit, bro. I need to see Batman break some bones for real. Like he ain't gonna kill nobody, but he really gonna break your neck for real. Mm-hmm. He gonna make you a vegetable. <laughs> literally, <laughs> freaking literally, yo. Oh man. All right. So what's next? Let's get into it. So your man's Lil Dirk or Dirk Yo OTF. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Yeah, he doing that in prison now, cause. Lil Dirk has been arrested, ladies and gentlemen. Of course. He was arrested October 24th and is held at Broward County in jail. Pres- uh, he has pre-trial in Miami October 29th. Oh, actually, today he did. Uh, but basically, he is being arrested for hire to murder. <laughs> like, So he basically had his boys go out and try to go kill Quando Rondo. He survived back in January, right? It was like twenty two. It was like twenty two, but it's like retaliation for them killing uh, King Von. Uh, Quan Rondo survived, but his cousin did not, and had a lot of has a lot of injuries. Um, but what what they're being what people are saying is that uh, OTF Jam, who was convicted of a shooting in twenty ten, and served twelve years in prison. Uh, they basically said that he they had him be an informant and was wearing wires the whole entire time when he was around Dirk. Uh, he, they said what he freaking Dirk gave him like mad money and houses and stuff, mm-hmm. but then also got the order like yo go put that hit on, to go put the hit out. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy honestly, like. You're you're doing it's like you're still you've been out you've been out in the industry for so long. And you're still since happy. like what, 2010? 2010 is like 2009, 2010 like, is when Dirk because he had short hair. Like, it was like eleven. He's like yeah, when he when he got out of the jail, when you like you This know, ain't what they want. Uh-huh. Like uh, 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 nah, it's like you know. Want, you know and it's like you're still <coughs> you're still out here doing things like that. And it's like you got keys to the city, you turn you know, Literally the your, week before, change right? your religion. You're, you know, you're doing, you're going here. You got Grammys now, and it's like you would think, like, man, I fell down to my knees. When let's put came. some of that stuff to the side. And it's like it still hasn't happened. Side note: You seen Big Daddy Mark at the the thing? Yes. <laughs> Time to play the game. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, OTF was listed as an informant for the cops. Uh, neither the criminal complaint nor Dirk's indictment. Documents support these rumors. However, it is true that several individuals and key witnesses have been kept hidden with the indictment referring to them via their initials. That said, no direct contact between Dirk and OTF. Dirk's arrest and OTF jam has been discovered. So it's more speculation that he uh, snitched and everything. I don't know. What do you think? First off, my first thoughts are, okay, we're in a gang, right? I'm a big star, music star. Vaughn was also a big music star. I was very close with Vaughn. They took Vaughn from me, so I have to back and get it back in blood. Okay, cool. You then have this other member... That has been with you, then got locked up, then got released, and is back with the crew. Right there is a big red flag to me. Because first off, this nigga, no matter how long, bro, I, I and I'm not even going to lie to you. If we were in a gang, and we were doing running the same shit they was running... And your ass got locked up, and 10 years later you get out, and you're just like, yo, like, I'm home. I'm back. I'm back, guys. I'm going to be like, yo, Reek's home. Yo, watch this nigga closely, because we don't know what this nigga's been getting into. 
Nigga, didn't he supposed to get up, locked up for 10 years? Nigga, it's only been three. <laughs> what he do to get out? Boom, right then and there. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, you got to watch your your cl- enemies close, but your friends closer, bro. Because, like, your friends will be the literal ones that stab you in the back and, like, cross yeah. you, bro. Especially if they don't fuck with you or they don't, like, fucking genuinely have any type of care in their heart for you. And they're just, like secretly being that that like i call it um nice nasty it's like they're just being secretly nice nasty to you bro like it's like nah fuck mm-hmm. that they're you know they're, they're smiling they yeah like they're undermining you bro like yeah. some backstabbing shit and like literally that's what happened bro like you're you're back with the gang i'm putting you on i'm giving you money i'm doing all this and mind you yeah all this shit that we're doing is illegal and everything so i'm, I'm not condoning what they were doing in the first place but like it's just the the thought of like being portrayed by somebody that you actually truthfully trusted and yeah. thought was there for you and in your corner. I mean, like it it really sucks and to know where he was and now he was they ain't letting his ass out. I'm sorry, they caught him on recording talking about that shit. Mm-hmm. It he's not getting out. And it's just like you know, as much as you do try to get out the hood. You know, it just still follows you everywhere you go. But it's like you gotta, you gotta fight. If one, you gotta try, either work harder or do a better job of not putting yourself in those positions. Mm-hmm. Like even if he's like, "Yo, I'm home." It's like, all right, great, cool. But we're not doing that stuff anymore, bro. We're we're making money. We got businesses and empires. Like, we're like doing legit shit, and like I don't know. I, That's just like the same thing, thugs in, bro. But mm-hmm. like. The difference between Thug and Dirk is they didn't get Thug on camera talking about it. They only have speculations and him being the purchaser of that car rental. Mm-hmm. But Dirk, they call you red-handed, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You're you're not getting out. You're going to be right next to Tori, bro. Look, Thug might not get out either. Who knows? I, they, nah, their shit, those trials that always get elongated and kept getting thrown out and mistrialed and change judges and shit after a while the state is gonna get tired of them using the fucking resources and they're gonna be like you know what let this nigga go because y'all really don't have shit on him we're just holding him wasting everybody's resources and wasting his life so just let him go and if he fucks up again okay cool we'll we'll get him but until then just whatever it's a mistrial but I feel like that's the direction they're moving because every time you get in there, bro, like even I tune in on YouTube sometimes to see what the fuck they're talking about. Nothing seems to be getting done. Yeah. Like it's just literally thugs sitting there looking miserable. (laughs) A bunch of randoms on stand talking about shit that doesn't even have his name nor I don't even know, bro. Like the shit just looks like a, a clusterfuck whenever I tune into it. So, yeah. And then who is this YSL Woody dude? Like, did he snitch on? Thug, like, I think he was one of them that did. Might have been. It was, it was supposed to be like a few people or whatever. And Gunna. But yeah. But so, Gunna didn't snitch, right? He snitched. He snitched. It's okay. How do we know he snitched? Did he say he snitched? We know he snitched. He snitched. Anyway, and in other news, Uzi's back. Eternal take two. That ass. I can't wait for that That's shit, bro. That's tough. That shit gonna be crazy. Your brother sent me some shit. Um, <laughs> what is that shit? Uh, fuck. Bro, I have it. <laughs> Bro, ever since he sent that shit to me, I've been blasting that shit. Where's this nigga? Blow the whistle? You haven't heard this? Mm-mm. This is one of his new shits off of Eternally Take Two. Damn, they took it down. Damn, that's crazy. Blow the whistle. Yeah, that shit was busting. Hold on. It's probably going to be up there. Hold up. They probably going to have it. No, I'm, I'm going to find this shit. You know YouTube always going to have it. Here it is right here. The whistle. Because <laughs> niggas will sit here and just jam the fuck out for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, got, we got more to talk about. That ass. But yeah, Uzi is Uzi's back. We needed him back, bro, cuz we've been going through some dark times. Every time shit get dark, bro, like when we have too much Cardi, we need to even it out with some Uzi, bro, cuz like Cardi just been giving us some bullshit, bro. Like, I don't know. We didn't 
we right. we don't even be asking for that nigga anymore to be making music, bro. He just be dropping crazy even, shit. I don't know why y'all still be listening to him either. Bro. <laughs> All right, chill out, cause Cardi is music. He anyways, is he is music, bro. Anyways, uh, y'all been eating McDonald's still? Don't eat the quarter pounders. Just don't eat McDonald's in general. Yeah, you can have the nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> this guy but, <laughs> uh, McDonald's last week The quarter pounders were found to have E. coli in them uh, the, Right now they are doing an investigation But it's in the quarter pounder meat But not only that Oh well they were not They are uh, temporarily unavailable In some states um, The states are Colorado, Kansas, Utah Wyoming Portions of Idaho, Iowa, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Uh, so if you're in those states, you can't get a quarter pounder right now. I might go get a quarter pounder because we're Island in on this list. So. <laughs> no cab, <cow>, though. <laughs> um, investigators are, are working to confirm which ingredient in these hamburgers is making people sick. And if, if it went to other restaurants or stores, so... If you have, you can report it as well. Um, not only that, but we talked about Listeria not too, not too long ago. Wasn't that in Lunch Meat? In the, board, in the, the, board, yeah. in the Head. But it's been in a couple other things lately. So it's been from from Boar's, from Boar's Head Deli Meat to Salmon, Frozen Waffles, and Pancakes. Uh, it seems it's been a lot. More. Wait, frozen waffles and it's, oh, so y'all been, fucked up. So it's been it's been it's been reported a lot more lately. So, uh, they CBS News basically you know talking about every step of food processing. There's an opportunity for contamination. That's number one. Consumers want ready to eat food, so of course there are more. That's the problem. As results, there's not enough ingredient households uh, in America doc, anymore. Doctor Celine, uh. Gar- Gounder uh, reported this basically saying they need to do better at testing and seeing what's gonna what's getting people sick and they're saying now that uh they have they have better tests that can find find out what what it is that's making people sick but also I was like well what's the actual list of things that's been catching it uh so products that, that have been recall recalled since October 18th all these breakfast Best brand, Dollar General, Clover Valley brand, Food Lion, Giant Eagle, and these are all. The, oh, hold on, Food oh. Giant. Six hundred varieties of frozen waffles. Please don't say fucking Ego. Uh, Hennifer, Giant Eagle, Harris Teeter, H E H E B. Price yeah, Shopper, I don't hear Ego, nigga. They Publix, they skipped ease. Uh. Southern, southeastern. Oh, they're they're Target. naming they're naming fucking grocery stores, bro. These not are the, the brands. One, these are the, but these are the ones that are like have it. Uh, Kodak Waffle Recall. Kodiak. Kodiak. Um, <coughs> what? Yeah, waffles are. So if you have the frozen waffles from like a lot of these, just buy Ego, stores, bro. Just buy Ego. Just buy from the company that actually should be making the waffles. Walmart. Great value brand. Don't, don't eat that. Don't Target, eat none of that. Good and gather brand. Because they see Walmart, Target, Publix, Kroger, ShopRite, Aldi. Stop and Shop, all these. All of them look at this one company that makes this one product very well, right? And they're like, fuck it. Why buy from him wholesale when we can try to make our own product and sell it on the market for more? But no. Because it's not about quantity, it's always about quality. And no one could beat an Ego waffle. Lego, my Ego, right? <laughs> We're sponsored. That's that's the that's the number one sponsorship right there. Lego, my Ego. We got that shit. I was trying to see. I was trying to see if that was actually true. If like basically everyone just buys from the same person, just puts their own thing on. Nah, I mean, like, they definitely produce their own waffle because you could tell by this taste and everything, mm-hmm. too. Sizes and stuff. But there is one thing, though, I know for a fact that cookies, like, um, you know, for example, because um, my grandma, she used to work for Nabisco, like, the company, like, the factory and shit back in the way back in the day. Mm-hmm. And uh, before, like, 
niggas was able to be around like shit, like free and shit. But anyway, not like slave times though. But <laughs> anyway, she worked at Nabisco and she would tell me that the same cookies that Oreos would be printed on Oreos, right? Are just literally the same cookies that you see, like the Shoprite brand cookies and shit like that. The black and whites or the whoopsie whoopsie doos or whatever the fuck they're called. They're all made in the same factory. They just get stamped with a different label, bro, mm-hmm. and put into a different packaging, and that's it. Mm-hmm. But they're all certified and manufactured in one same, same distillery yeah, factory. That's interesting. And I'm like, damn, because I could have sworn there was an Oreo factory. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been tough, bro. You get a tour of the Oreo factory? I know they definitely have one. The Oreo factory. They have a uh, fucking Arizona land. Did you know that? Yes. Uh, in Jersey. Oreo factory. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, No. Yes, I do, bro. No. No. There's not. Oreo factory tour. You can take a free factory tour at the chocolate factory. And where's the chocolate factory? <laughs> it's like, no, nah, there is an Oreo factory. Um, it's in Chelsea, New York City. Nabisco. I told you. Yeah. Yeah. See, my grandma told me, bro. She was like, nigga, those are the same thing. Eat it. I was like, okay. And she told me the story, and I was like, more you know. Still don't taste like Oreos, though. I don't know what y'all be doing, like... But then sometimes, like, if you really look into social experiments and shit like that, the packaging will fuck with your brain in a way where it could disor- disorient the taste. Like, that shit is so weird to me. Mm-hmm. Like, just because, because it's in a clear know- packaging compared to you can't see the cookies, or the cookies you, you can't see are starting. probably going to taste better or have a better flavor than the cookies that you could have a transparent packaging. Or if you know it's, like... Again, you said it. It's the Oreo and... and what? Like, that's Oreo, crazy. It's all the same thing, but because it's the Oreo brands compared to the off brand, you're like, these don't taste right. These don't taste like regular Oreos, but it's like, yes, it does. It's yeah, the same exact thing. the same, the same thing, fucking so. thing, bro. It's crazy. Just don't say Oreo it's on a, the cookie. It's a marketing and mind brand. And mind, it's all in a mind. Basically. It really? It's is. all marketing at the end of the day. Those like, social experiments be crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, wow, this this one's really good. I think this one's Oreo. Nope. It's it's the same thing, buddy. Yo, and that that reminds me of another side note. I was chilling here with Lethel not too long ago, and she put on um this movie. It was called The Stanford Experiment. You ever seen that? No. So back in like the seventies, they did an experiment where they took a bunch of Stanford students and it was summertime, so the campus was empty, right? They took about like sixteen of them. Eight of them were going to be prisoners. Eight of them were going to be guards. And the I campus like was I going to be the it. prison. Mm-hmm. And they would do it for like about, like, I think it was like a experiment for the week. Mm-hmm. And, bro, they didn't even make it past three days. Because the guards really started acting like guards. Like, acting they started, like, like power tripping, the Stanford bro. <clears throat> experiment? Yeah. I don't think it's on uh, Netflix. It was on... Um, some weird channel. The Stanford Prison Experiment? Prison Experiment, yeah. Let's see. The Stanford. Is it Stanford or Stanford? Stanford. Stanford. Okay, cool. Hmm. But yeah, yo, that shit, like watching that movie, I'm like, Damn, like that's a crazy social experiment. Like, and it just shows the, the, um, prince. I think they were trying to explain the like uh, principles of power and shit, like how it's explained. Because it's like, y'all were two days ago, y'all were literally just normal students, each of y'all equal rights and everything. Yep. Now y'all have divided it to this like oligarchy type thing, like hierarchy, I should say, not oligarchy, because niggas aren't ruling at threes, but. <laughs> Um, of the prison system, like that shit is crazy, bro. Like the yeah. kids start acting like the guards, beating the shit out of these the kid other kids because they were prisoners. It's like, bro, like you can't hit me, and he's like, you can't tell me what to do. It's like the power was getting to their head and shit. I'm like, oh no, nah, cut the experiment, bro. <laughs> that is not as wild. Yeah, they're not. Them experience be really deep, and they only made it to three days, bro. Yeah, 
But by the third day in the morning, too, at that, like, they were like, all right, yeah, y'all niggas is doing too much. Yeah. Cut this shit out. Yeah. But if, if you're, uh, one, be careful with the salmon right now. Two, if you're in any of these states that isn't selling quarter pounders or anywhere at McDonald's, be careful with the quarter pounder with cheese. Because I got E. coli right now. And frozen waffles. Might as well just buy the Eggos. All right, mind you, I don't want ever want to feel it or experience it, but what the fuck are the side effects of Listeria and shit? I'm glad you asked because there's really just a, uh, let's see, side effects, symptoms for Listeria. Uh, I said side effects like it's a drug. I'm dead. Listeria infections are caused by eating food contaminated with the bacteria called Listeria. My, yeah. The symptoms to look out for include vomiting, headaches, fever, fevers, changes in your mental status, difficulty walking, and seizures. No vomiting. They said no. You're throwing up for something totally different, sweetheart. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But if you're if you're having a seizure, baby, it's probably because of that fucked up bologna you ate last night. Um, thoroughly cooking or reheating food can kill listeria, but. You need to be cooking things at a high enough temperature. So, one thirty-five, one sixty-five. If you're gonna cook and chicken, well, if if the CDC recommends reheating deli meat, cold cuts, hot dogs, and fermented or dry sausages to one sixty-five until steam or until oh, steaming hot. They trying to hot. kill that shit for real. Yeah, the same goes for pasteurized soft cheeses and deli sliced cheeses. Yeah, nah. So I. Because what, 135 is reheat temperature though, right? Yeah, technically. To hot hold shit at 135? Yeah, hot hold. You can hot hold to like 135. (coughs) Damn, not even that shit's deleting that. That's crazy. Yeah, so be be careful what what you're uh, grabbing from the supermarkets these days. Um, But yeah, you know what you can't, you don't have to worry about? That good old Halloween candy. Yeah, the, you know what? Actually, this year, I have not heard anything crazy about, like, Halloween, trick-or-treating, niggas putting razor blades in apples. Remember <laughs> they used to scare us with that yo, shit every year? Bro. I'm like, first off, yo. who the fuck is going trick-or-treating <laughs> and eating into an apple? Like, bitch, I'm eating candy. <laughs> well, you know the freaking car- the caramel. The oh, I was the never eating covered. those. Bro, I was never eating that, bro. Or like, you freaking- could you could candy an apple, bro, but I'm going to eat the candy. <laughs> Off the apple, off the apple, and um, um You're just you can the eat rest the rest. Away. Over you get dead, but yeah, that's look. how much of a fiend I was for that shit, bro. I, I bet you were candy back in the day. Oh my god, but yo, let's 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 hear it. Let's top ten. No, let's hear yours first, you old ass ten. man. How am I old? Because you, I know, but you be eating and moving like an old man. So I want to hear your your top ten. You probably top got a hundred grand on there or some shit. Top ten, Mister Peanut. Good and plenty. Favorite Halloween candy. This nigga definitely has Twix on the list. Number one, Reese's. Should have known that. That was definitely it. Number two, Snickers. Okay. Number three, Whoppers. <laughs> bro, I, it's I, really, I genuinely almost threw up. Bro. It's Halloween. That's nasty, bro. No, it's not. Nah, that's fucking nasty. If Candy Corn is on that list, we're no longer friends. I'm telling you right Number now. Number four, Smarties. Okay. Number five, M and M's. Okay. Number no here, no lifesaver gummies, no Skittles, no number six, almond joys. Oh my god! It's Halloween. What does that have to do? Did you just go to the store and get the nastiest fucking bro? When you party packs, bro? When you used to go trick or treating, you'd be like trick or treat, and they'd be like, "Oh, look at your little costume, a little pirate right there, a little mummy," and throw your and throw the candy in the bag. You'd be like. Thank you, and walk away and be like, you get this That's your problem. You was too fixated on who the fuck was coming to the door. I'm looking at that fucking hand and what you're putting in my fucking bag. Yeah, and you so look at the you candy, look you're going to be like, all right, well, I'm going to eat it anyway. We're going to trade what we trade. I'm not eating no Three Musketeers. I'm not eating no Almond Joy. I'm not eating no Mounds. Three of them, I'm not doing. Go ahead, continue. Number seven, Crunch. Nigga, come on. Bro. <laughs> Number eight, candy corn. <laughs> bro, y'all gotta stop hating on candy corn. Like, it's not like that. It's Halloween. It's the only time you're eating it. 
You're not eating any other no, any I've other time. I've seen niggas eat that shit around fucking uh, Thanksgiving too. Still, nah, it's it's Halloween. Then that's it. I've seen niggas eat. It's I Halloween. S- a d- dually came here the other night with a pocket full of candy corn, free roaming in his pocket, no bag, no nothing. <laughs> that's- I said, yo, let me get some. I know you got some candy corn because this kid is going in his pocket taking out handfuls. And he goes, yeah, nah, you don't want any of these. And I said, what do you mean? He was like, they just been rolling around in my pocket. Like (laughs) some of the handfuls I got to have lint in it. I said, yo, what? Like (laughs) craziness, bro. I'm dead. Number nine, Kit Kats. Number 10, Tootsie Rolls. Don't tell me you don't like Tootsie Rolls. Don't don't come on, bro. Those were that, I think that was the worst top ten candy list all right, of give me all list. time. Give me your list. Worst. Give the me worst. Your, give me your list. Number one. Top, top times of all. I have them. Skittles, bro. Skittles is number one. Two. You had it right. Snickers. Boom. You you you're doing something there. <laughs> Three, give it to you. Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm not eating pieces. Yeah, Fuck Reese's, the pieces. Reese's cups. You'll eat pieces, though. Oh, yeah. I like pieces. Nasty. But Reese's cups is where it's at. No. The peanut butter cups. And I'm yeah, talking about Reese's the cups. regular original Jones. Don't give me that fucking little Halloween shit in the gold little damn. I don't want that shit. I want a fucking real peanut butter cup. And I want them slightly melted like they were sitting in my pocket <laughs> till the end of the day. That's the best. That's when they're the best. Um... That was number two, right? Number three. No, you said three was Reese's. All right. Number four, Dots. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's too squishy, bro. First off, too squishy? Them shits felt like you, whenever you bit into them, they were going to rip your tooth right out of your fucking gums, it's bro. Exactly. actually too That, too much. best candy. Too what are much. you talking about? That shit, I, I have fucked up teeth because of Dots to this day. Yeah, we know. <laughs> We know. Five. Lifesaver gummies. This Cannot is, go wrong with lifesaver gummies. Lifesaver gummies. You were getting, hold on, hold on. You were getting lifesaver yeah. gummies for as Halloween candy. Bro, yes. I have them in there, bro. The little, they you come in a the, one ring, bro. You was at the, the one rich, ring. You was at the rich one houses. One ring, bro. You went to the rich houses. No, the rich houses were giving out big ass candy bars. <laughs> yes. That's send. <laughs> back in my town, we had a neighborhood called Centex. You go to Centex if you want those fucking full candy bars, bitch. And you better hit them twi- houses twice. No bullshit. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Um, six. I'm going with another chocolate. So, I'll definitely have to go Raisinets, bro. Raisinets for the win. What? Uh, <laughs> milk Duds. No, 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 no. Um, Raisinets? Yes, bro. I literally dogged a box with her the other day when we went to see Venom. She was like, what candy do you want? I was like, Raisinets. Raisinets. She was like, I will dog a box of chocolate-covered raisins. I like chocolate cover raisins. Chocolate cover raisins. Raisinets. Come on, bro. For Halloween candy? Nigga, you said fucking crunch. Crunch, nigga. You said Halloween candy. Nigga, crunch. Jesus Christ. You know what crunch is? Yeah. They good. literally just took Rice Krispies <laughs> and covered that bitch with chocolate and put it in a chocolate bar. That's literally what crunch is, bro. If that's not the laziest fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck that. What am I on? Number seven? Number seven. God damn, what else? Halloween candy. Halloween candy. Milk duds. Milk duds. You can't tell me that you didn't dog a box of milk duds when you were down to the last of your fucking the scraps of your candy, bro. <laughs> your milk dud was like your your fucking six man, bro. I'm telling you. That was literally like the last thing in the damn bag. Nah, they were gonna save you, bro. It really is made with Rice Krispies. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's the laziest shit ever. Like, I bit into that shit one time. I'm like, what kind of shit is this, bro? And it's popping in your mouth, bro. Like, nah, fuck that. I'm good. I'm screaming. Number eight. Why do Rice Krispies pop? I don't know. Rice Krispies are so gross. If it's not Rice Krispie treats, like, I'm not eating it. Oh, uh, I cannot do Rice Krispie treats either. No? Bro, I'm not big on those. Okay, let's go. Let's do a little. little. Let me finish this list. Number eight. Number eight. 
Twizzlers. You remember the Twizzlers they used to give out in the one thing? Twizzlers? Licorice? Really, bro? Twizzlers? Yes. Twizzlers. (laughs) Fuck is wrong with you? Bro, Bro, Twizzlers aren't that good. They're not that good. It's not. This is the same nigga that said mounds, bro. Almond Joy. What the fuck? Almond Joy mounds, you'll eat both of them. You will. I know you would. What the fuck? Nine. Like, I don't know. Uh, fuck. This kid fucked me up. Um, what's that fucking candy, bro? Fuck. I can't think. I can't think. I'm having. A, I'm drawing a blank. Anyway. Um. Oh. You said Tootsie Roll, right? Tootsie Pops. That's why I looked at you crazy. <laughs> Because why the fuck are you just eating Tootsie Rolls? This nigga's eating a log turd, bro. Like, that shit's crazy. <laughs> Got it all on his teeth, bro. Like, this nigga don't want bro, no I don't, lollipop. I don't, me- I don't really mess with lollipops. It's too much. Bro. And then blow pops. I'll, I'll give blow pops for Halloween Miss, candy. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll? Center, the, t- the center of a Tootsie Pop. The world let's, may never know. Oh, let's, let's find out. out. One, a two, a three. Bro, I used to hate that commercial, bro. <laughs> How many licks Yo, I, see, it takes I see that not so long ago. Pop, it's so hilarious. The world may never know. <laughs> I'm like, this commercial's old. Like, it's not even old that when we were young, we were still seeing it. Uh, but it's, it's just the animation is old. Was, like, it's old as when your mom walk in the room and say, oh, that was on when I was a kid. <laughs> that shit's old, bro. Like... Damn, they ain't changed the commercials since then. Like, niggas still selling the same Tootsie Pops? That's crazy. Hold on. I'm trying to see. When did this come out? It definitely had to come out. It looks like a 70s. 1982. Oh, I was about to say. It looks like a 70s or 80s animation. 1982. Oh, so, yeah. My mom's... Yeah, she she was around that age. She was in high school. (laughs) Hold on. Mr. Turtle. No, where's Mr. Owl? Uh-huh. I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many lifts does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, a two, who, a three. <laughs> how many lifts does it take to get to the Tootsie Oh, this one's different, though. This is like the full one. That's that's the full one, but the one, the one. <laughs> what is your most memorable commercial that of all well, time of all time? Uh, Orbit. Orbit. Yeah, when the girl finds her man cheating on you, lint liquor. That Who one. Who you calling a cootie catcher? You lint liquor. Um, dirty mouth. Clean with the French, with the French toast. Bro, that shit was funny. Um, no, back to the goddamn. Uh, Rice Krispie treats. Why don't you eat? Why don't you rock with them? Uh, first off, I was never big into like those Rice Krispie treat, like those things that you just get thrown in your lunchbox type shit. Like, again, you know me, I was a candy fiend, so my mom would put in like Gushers or like Scooby Doo fruit snacks or like I would even eat the the Scooby snacks. Remember the Scooby snacks and they were like the graham crackers and they were in the the shape of a bone. Come on now, you know them shits was fire, bro. Yeah. Or even any, I'm gonna even blow your any, mind right here. Any graham Remember cracker. when Goldfish used to do the fat ass graham cracker goldfish, and it was in a one sleeve. Pull that shit up, bro. It graham was a one graham cracker graham cracker goldfish, and they would give it to you in one sleeve. But it was a fat ass graham cracker goldfish, bro. Word to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> them shits was so fucking good. Graham crackers itself is is just top tier. Oh, you remember that shit? Yeah, okay. My nigga, okay. see, I told you, yeah, you remember that shit. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. bro, them shits. You would get that in your fucking lunchbox. Yeah. That and only other thing I would eat other than because I'm not eating no Rice Krispie treats is a cosmic brownie. I'll dog a cosmic brownie, bro. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's about it, bro. I those Rice Krispies and. Rice Krispies, when they would come out around Halloween and they would put, like, the fucking 
different colors in it and shit like that. And it's still Rice Krispie. I'm like, nah, fuck that shit. I, yo, I do remember these, bro. Middle school, mm-hmm. when you used to get the snacks after school. Bro, bro, you get three of them bitches, you're good. You're good bro. for the rest of the day, bro. Like, bro, those joints. <laughs> that's the Infinity s- Gauntlet right there, nigga. Those used to smack. Um, <laughs> let's look at let's look at some lists from last year's top ten candies that some people put out. A uh, newser from 2023, right? This year, 2023, their top ten list: number one, M and M's; number two, Reese cups; number three, South Patch Kids. Okay, now number we're f- talking. Number four, Skittles. Okay. Number five, Starburst. Yeah, that's my sister's favorite. I don't. I don't really like Starburst. <laughs> Hot tamales. Number six, hot tamales. We're talking. We're talking. Number seven. Number seven, candy corn. Number eight, Hershey's Kisses. Damn, how would you get Hershey's Kisses? That's around like I. I think of Hershey Kisses that commercial. Valentine? No, Christmas oh. when they're all ding 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 oh, ding yeah, ding yeah, ding. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. all I remember, bro. Number nine, Hershey's Minis Bar. I don't know why you got Hershey's on it twice though. It's either one or the other. What do you mean? Hershey's Kisses and a Hershey's Mini Bars. The Mini Bars be hitting. They do, but it's like... I don't Nigga, think. I'll take that over a fucking Almond Joy. Whatever. <laughs> Butterfinger, 10, hell Butterfinger. yeah. Finger. Butterfingers be hard. No? Oh, yeah. you're weird. Yeah. Yeah, they nah, be you're hard. weird, bro. They're fun. I mean, they were like... Back then when I was in like elementary school, I was like, yeah, let me get a Butterfinger. Okay, are you eating them fresh or are you eating them just like you should eat the Reese's Puffs? I mean, the Reese's Cups like slightly melted because... I'm eating my Butterfinger slightly <laughs> melted. I'm not eating that shit fresh because uh, that's how you lose teeth. Because uh, I don't know what the fuck they put. They put in gold-plated peanut butter in that's that bitch, bro. Like, it's like it's too much. Uh, Delish.com's top 10 from last year. It was the most ordered in 24 states. Uh, number one, Reese's Cups. Reese's is going to dominate, honestly, anywhere. It don't matter. Number two, Gushers. Yeah, Gushers I've been seeing a lot. Uh, three Twix. You don't like Twix? No, I've never liked Twix, and I don't understand why people like Twix, bro. That shit is so fucking ass. <laughs> Two cookies, caramel, and chocolate, right? And there's, isn't it like a, it's it's a cookie. It's not nougat, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. Fuck that. Uh, number four, Snickers. Yes. Five Nerds. Mm, I was never a big I think nerd fan. Agreed on I was never a big nerds fan. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Kit Kat, number six. Uh, I could rock with it if that's Charlie's Sour was. Bites. Yes. Number seven. Okay. Yeah, because you love that sour stuff. Mike and Ike. Get that shit the fuck out of here. <laughs> Number eight. Mike and Ike's. Ew, bitch. You don't like Mike and Ike's? I don't like Mike and Ike's. I don't like Good and Plenty. Um, no, I'm good off that. Them Bro. little weird shape candy. What do you even call that shape? Fuck that shit. I don't even know what it is. Juju's? Like, what, what are those? What do you call that shit, bro? <laughs> Remember uh, Juju Bees too? Yeah. Remember those shits too? It's it's candy pills. That's all it is. Candy pills. Basically. Candy sills. That's crazy. Uh M and M's peanut butter, number nine. Number ten, Air Airheads Extreme. Nah, I'm okay with Sour Belts. I'm I'm okay with the airheads though. I'm not Bro, a sour there's only so much sour I can really take. Bro, to be honest with you, candy's overrated, bro. It is. Airhead, yeah, I'm I'm okay with the sour stuff. Like, if you're gonna give me, if it, like, just give me chocolate, if anything, I can care less about like everything else. Just give me some chocolate. Just give me chocolate. That's all I need. Chocolate, I mean, like, peanut butter. What did they say? They said Sour Patch was on there. I could do a bag of Sour Patch. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I never used to be. I my biggest candy was Skittles. That's what I used to rock with all throughout my childhood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, I can't touch Skittles anymore though. Yeah, all right. You eh. don't like Skittles? What's your favorite pack of Skittles? Favorite flavor? <laughs> They're all the d- same damn flavor. You think so? Yes. They're all. No, I'm talking about like the variety, like wild oh, berry, oh. tropical. Like, what? Uh, what do you fuck with? I haven't had Skittles in. I'm so like, long. I'm like, they all f- the same flavors. What is this nigga saying? <laughs> I haven't had I haven't had Skittles in so so long. I don't even know. I, don't I think know. the blue pack, tropical, and then wild berry is a strong second for me. But it's you can't find tropical everywhere, so you're more prone to finding wild berry than tropical. So was that the purple bag? Purple bag is a wild berry, okay, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then the the blue okay. bag, light blue, is tropical. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I 
Skittles and eh. green bag, you could throw them in the trash. If Ain't I'm looking for Skittles, sour. if I'm looking for Skittles, I'm just gonna go for M and M's. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for M and M's. It's been too many times on the show today that I've came close to throwing up. I don't know what's wrong with you. But um, is that that, that concludes I, everything? Right? Some picks? Like, I don't even want to hear my picks because I know my shit was trash, bro. You know, that's why we took a week off. We had to take a week off because you know your, your picks were out of out of control. Okay. You were doing so great, Drew. And then you, you went, you lost a lot. <laughs> and then now your girl's winning and like. She, she, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Like we, 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 t- we didn't p- let you pick last week because we're like, let's give him a, t- a week off. Okay. Uh, that was my bye week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took a bye week. Um, we didn't pick this week. So you know what? I'll, I'll, have, you, I'll have you pick the games for this week that we all get to pick from, all right? All right, all right, all right. You know, but we we got to go Thursday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. All right. The two other games we had to go with. You get to pick from. So Thursday night is <laughs> Texans versus the Jets. Texans. <sighs> Sorry, Jets, but you guys aren't shit. Y'all are going two and six. Uh, Sunday night football is Colts versus Vikings. Who won their last game? Uh, they both actually lost last week. Let's go Vikings. Monday night football is Buccaneers versus Chiefs. Let's go Chiefs. Chiefs are still the only team undefeated too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now we got we got two pick, two games you can pick from. Let, let's let's see which one you want to pick. Go ahead, go ahead. All the sun, all the Sunday games, one o'clock and four o'clock starts. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Come on. Patriots now. versus Titans. Patriots, on the Patriots versus Titans. Okay. You're going to go Patriots, Titans. You got the Patriots. Who you got on that one? Patriots. What the hell? I don't, go, I don't go against the Patriots. I don't care what happens. Like, And then and then 4 o'clock game. Where the 4 o'clock games at? 4 o'clock. Bears, Cardinals, Jets, Eagles, Lions. Jags, Packers. Eagles, Eagles. We're going Eagles, baby. Eagles fly. Eagles fly. On the road to victory. All right. Well, here, here we go. There you go. Drew, see? I, this might be the week you get back on track, Drew. Texans, Patriots, Eagles, Vikings, Chiefs. That's that's a good stand. I, you know what? I'm going to make my picks right now, too. Because This thing know. is going to copy me. You doing all opposites? Uh, he said, "No, nah, I'm copying the whole thing." I actually think I might copy yours because uh, Tex- Texans versus Jets. Yeah, I'm taking the Texans. Uh, that is gonna be a tough game because I, Stephon Diggs just got just tore his ACL. Nico Collins is still out, but I got the Texans. I don't care about the Jets. Patriots, Titans. I'm taking the Patriots. Jags, Eagles. Jags kind of suck. This well, they don't kind of. They do suck. Eagles are on the road now. Why you will fly? Yep. Uh, Colts Vikings. If my dad's favorite team is the Colts. We're gonna be on his fiftieth birthday cruise. I'm still taking the Vikings. <laughs> and then Bucks Chiefs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Bucks. Uh, I'm gonna go Chiefs. You know what? I'm gonna. We gonna ride it out. We gonna ride it, it out. Fuck it. Lock it's, that shit in. It's lock, lock, locked in. It's locked in. Okay. Once I put these bullet points in, they locked in. That's it. It's locked. Lock the fuck in, bro. Sana, you're going down this week, okay? You're going down. But yeah, that's it. On this Halloween edition. Booky. Dead ass, bro. That was <laughs> literally it. Uh, you guys can find me at cheftreak.co on Instagram and TikTok. Cheftreak.co on... No, Chef Tariq 401 on Facebook. Chef Tariq on YouTube, Mix Pop Podcast, and Mix NG Pop Pod on Instagram and TikTok. And on the Mix of Pop podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, check us out. Watch all of our clips because you know why? If you're not listening to us, then what the hell are you listening to? And you know we're not going to be on next week because I'm going to be on a cruise, being drunk. He's going to be in. We're go- no, we're gonna we're gonna literally. I can't wait till you get back so we can hear all your yeah, stories, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna have mad stories. That shit is gonna I'm gonna be have, hilarious. Like I'm gonna have so many stories where it's like because one, I'm gonna have pl- flight stories because we're taking Delta. I'm taking Delta for the first time. Okay, word. So we gotta you see. Can I'm tell gonna us see how that experience. Is. Yep. Are you vlogging? 
I'm gonna try to. I. So in I don't I didn't I don't think I told you guys this. So in Mexico, I had the GoPro and everything while I was vlogging, and I dropped it in the pool. So it's kind of like a little messed up. So I have to try to. You were lit. A little, but I literally just dropped it. And I was just like, damn it. So we'll see. If not, I mean, I'm probably gonna do it a I lot. Could have sworn the GoPros were, were waterproof. Not that so, one. I guess not. Damn. I get. I guess not. So. Uh, if anything, I'll probably just try to record a lot of things on my phone and see how I can do it from there. But we're gonna do a lot of, but we're gonna do a lot of videos, maybe mm-hmm. stuff, or whatever. We're gonna do, we're doing zip lining. We booked that. Uh, we got the captain's dinner. We got freaking that captain's dinner gonna be good. The, yeah, they're always gonna have a um a bazaar uh dish too. So like, whatever that bazaar dish, always get that shit. Mm-hmm. That's the first time like. I had like alligator fritters. We had frog legs. Oh, like yeah. they have like all types of crazy shit. So yeah, oh, definitely yeah. grab some. And it's only at the captain's dinner. I'd be looking at that shit on the buffet. I'm like, yo, where the fuck these frog legs, bro? They're <laughs> like, nah, that's only something we serve during. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna have mad videos. I'm gonna have a lot of stories. Like it's it's gonna be crazy when we get back. But next week, no episode. Okay, so that's all I got. Frog tastes like chicken. No bullshit, bro. Yeah, it does. This shit's wild. Um. You can catch me on IG at Second Human. Uh, also on IG at I Love You Drew. You can also catch me here on the Mixing Pot Podcast. Stay tuned with us because you know we're always bringing you the best and the utmost, just all around content. Like this is this is just the greatest podcast you can possibly tune into. So just tune the fuck in, and we'll keep updating you guys. And see you next week. All right. <laughs> Not next week, the week after. Well, you guys know what the fuck I meant. We appreciate you guys. We love you. Have a great night.